And I'm not hearing zombies, which is the big thing. Oh, I hear a bear! I hear a bear! God dang it! Why do bears love me? Oh. Okay, we're good. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Survival Today. We return, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, I'm your favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Just last episode, we got ourselves a whole ton of necessities for what we need to make us some car magic capital. There's going to be such a huge move up in the world, as y'all can see. We got the car battery, we got the tire, and then over here, somehow we managed to fit even more tires and a couple of other valuable things, such as the car engine. But we are missing one very very important thing in the grand scheme of things for getting a car running and that is something along the lines of a spark plug and from what you guys were saying in that comment section down below shouts out to you guys the alls of you trying to help me out give me tips tricks any of that type of jazz i appreciate it poop ton but i heard that we need the spark plug and apparently there is a place Ooh, have we gone up to that yet I think we might be able to multitask, but apparently over in this general direction because I went ahead and actually surveyed the map a little bit, found like a map of it online, and there appears to be, from what you guys are saying, a motel in the game that we can head to and acquire that loot. So I think that's going to be a big thing that we are chasing after today. You guys can see we got an okay amount of thirst, okay amount of thug th thunger? Okay amount of hunger, and then over here in our inventory we got food, we got painkillers, we do not have bandage at the moment, please leave message after a beep, but hopefully... We will be able to go ahead and acquire some for ourselves. And sorry that, again, Miss Survival has not been being uploaded super frequently as of late. I'm just trying to get into the whole school groove. I'm doing a little bit better, kind of figuring out how my weekly schedule is going to be with all my classes. Because it's just... Uh, let me just say, boys, I... Uh, Cross your fingers, cross all that you got, because I am taking the hardest class in my computer science, like, curriculum slash requirement or something, and hello, let's upgrade that inventory a little bit, so things are, they're, they're a little bit tough, but I'm tr I'm trucking through, no worries, and of course, all throughout, we're definitely going to still continue, always aiming for those two daily videos to bless your faces, and let's freaking go, that is a lot of rifle ammo! I like what I see. Up to 24 bullets. We might be able to hold our own against some bandits should we run across them. And I actually do believe there's a bandit camp hauled away over that way. And hey, we got a wall light too we can pick up. So we should be able to make some very useful. Let's freaking go. We found a pistol too. Bro, you know why the pistol's good? Oh, I might have put away my ammo. Dang, I do actually have some 9mm ammo back at home, but bless up that we found this thing. This is actually really good. Just for, oh, even more rifle ammo. Coming up here has been a very good move. Why don't we go ahead and equip those booties, too, and make sure that we're looking fabulous. But not just that. Also, I'm guessing they're going to give us armor and maybe make us walk fast or something, which are definitely pretty good things in the long run. Uh, let's go back to this thing. Reload it. Dude, we almost... I know this sounds sad, but we almost have a full mag of this gun. And I know you might be like, Star, really? That's it? Listen, okay, that that's impressive to me. Cut me a little bit of slack. We've been struggling hardcore trying to make this magic happen i think it's just the hill so we should be able to go off on the other side and ooh, is that the mist i see i hope that's not the mist rolling in because that no i don't want to treat myself that might be a little bit problematic but the good news is we do have the hatchet from what you guys are saying apparently the hatchet is an expert at smashing people in the face and killing them right away so that might be a very a very good thing for us uh back at home we do have a couple construction projects as well that we are working on such as a grill for a fire and an actual house out back but apparently there's also like some houses and i'm, I'm like i'm trying to narrow down exactly where they are like if you guys have, if any of you you guys have seen the map and might know specifically where we can find some such houses i saw some of you guys actually talking about that uh that there are like those houses we can move into i'm aware that it's just very hard moving around in this game because well i don't know this isn't really a map like you can find the one online but it's still kind of like a little bit confusing to try to be super specific with that you know but uh, hopefully we do come across such a house today in our search for the motel Whoa! is that a bear right here i think that's a bear i think that's a bear hello bear how you doing please die and thank you. That is why we have a rifle. And that is why I'm going to save the game. Because I still don't know if they fixed that glitch where if I die, I can actually respawn. That is right. We're kind of in a bad situation with that. I know we have this bear corpse here. 
we, we could get some good stuff, but I, I don't want to lose daytime and uh, skinning a bear does take a lot of time. Unfortunately, I do want to pick up a lot of these uh, sticks and stones because those are actually going to be very useful for us crafting up a fire that we can then toss our grill over. And once that grill's installed, baby, mm -mm -mm, we gonna have some very magical magic occurring because uh, what you call? We're going to be able to do that thing. With the other thing, I can't I can't find the words to describe what we can do. Cook her food. I haven't been able to cook uh, before now, so that's gonna be very nice. Well, I, I heard some I heard some weird. I don't know what that was, dude. I heard like a heavy breathing. Oh, I think I know what these might be. I believe I know what these are occurring. There may or may not be zombies inside. Cause I, yeah, that sounds pretty zombie like. I thought maybe it might be a bear, but then I'm like, wait a minute, dude. That sounds horrifying. Jesus. Uh, these just make me uncomfortable. Okay, so we got two dudes in there. I wonder if I could just headshot them from afar. I don't want to get into a huge fight with these guys. Like, we do. We have full health, though. I don't know. Maybe we try a little bit. Hello, Zambi. How you doing over there, big boy? Don't mind me. Just boop. Dude, they literally, like, do. Okay, come on. Can one of you guys, like, wander out? Also, can you guys not see through glass? Because I am right here. Okay, can you turn your back? And I'm going to try to maybe, like, sneak attack these guys. Can we make that magic happen? I don't know. Oh! Okay, I got him in the face. <laughs> Running out of that situation. Okay, let's see if we can get these dudes. They really just like chilling in their house, don't they? Yeah, I, I don't think they're interested in coming back for me. We did take a little bit of damage. Not much. Come on, big boys. I'm right here. Right here. Right here. No, they really... They want to protect their base. I don't think they want to kill me. I think they just want to protect what's theirs. I respect that. I respect that. Oh, no, 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 no. No! I don't respect the fact that they're hitting me, though. Come on, boys. Get out here. Get out here and play a little bit. Yeah? God dang it. Mm. Can I not execute them with the axe? Maybe? I don't know. Boop! There we go. One guy down. One guy down. Did they notice? Oh, yeah. They noticed. They noticed. They're running after me. Oh, this guy. They don't want to go away from the house. This is actually kind of good. We can take advantage of this and minimize the health damage that we're taking. So this is very nice. I don't think they're happy that their friend died. I wouldn't be happy either. Hello, big boy. How do you do? Oh, my God. I got a double hit on him. But, uh, well, they both got a hit off on me. Oh, R.I.P. to you, my guy. Thank you for the potato, though. Electronic part. Some salt pretty nifty we haven't gotten infected or anything we're still getting health back so yeah as long as we don't start bleeding this is gonna be pretty nice come on let's continue oh that's a workbench over there too not too shabby let's go ahead and finish him and collect let's go we got some rifle ammo to make up for the ones we had to use for the bear things are coming up very millhouse this guy dropped stuff even more rifle ammo oh i couldn't pick it up for a sec no we could pick it up now how much we talking a total of three rifle ammo Nothing super crazy, but I'll take it. Speaking of rifles, we got another one. Now, does it come with ammo, or is that, like, a thing that we have to, like, I, I never know. Hold on. I want to test this out really quickly. Yeah, I don't think guns come with ammo. So the good thing is what we'll be able to do is actually give that to our friends if and when we do find them to actually move into our base with. Uh, they'll be able to actually protect our base, maybe even go out and scavenge a little bit and whatnot, which is very, very cool. So we should be able to hopefully capitalize upon all that. And oh, I like what I'm seeing there as well. Let's reload. I did bring the shotgun with me. Correcto mundo. Uh, yes, sir. Let's go ahead and actually reload that puppy very quickly. I'll just save up some inventory room with the shotgun slugs we got, but it looks like we're having a very productive day. Looting up some of this stuff and getting all the ammo in the world. We got some 9mm as well. Let's, god dang, I gotta unequip this thing. I always forget about that. Okay, I'm gonna put it where the rifle is. We'll equip this, get that reloaded, and then while that's swapping, put the rifle back in the mix. And we're looking good, and I'll get my axe back, and bada bang, bada boom. Things are definitely looking good over there. I'm not finding much else interesting stuff here. Very nice that they have a workbench, but, like, I have a workbench at home, too. Now, if I was go... Ooh, booze. God dang it, we gotta drop some for the booze. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and just eat this blueberry super lickety split. Ooh, we're getting kind of thirsty. Luckily, oh, we got plenty of hydration. Not even worried. But, uh, back to what I was circling... Oh, <gasps> bandages! Oh, yeah, that'll come in handy, too. Um, why don't we... I don't think I need a single leaf. I will instead 
pick up bandage. We will drink a Coca-Cola or was that a Sprite? I don't even know what that was, but whatever it was, we're drinking it. And then we have a little bit of fruit we could eat down the line to get our other stuff back. I know we could bring that with us. I'm not trying to haul that with this entire way. I, I, I don't know, man. We can haul it the entire way, right? It's just kind of annoying because, oh my God, it's getting in the, like, yeah. We could, we'll, we'll just remember that this is here and get it on the return trip. How's that sound? Because I, I don't just want to be lugging this thing around with us. Like, if there's an easier way to lug, that's a different story. All right, trust me. I, I love to lug as much as the next man, but I, I don't know, man. For now, I'm just trying to keep my mobility and I don't want to accidentally lose that in an even further away place that might be even harder to get back should things go south. So I'm leaving here for now. Best case scenario, we get it on the return trip. Worst case scenario, we die, walk up here and get it. Uh, I know we could be picking up like metal scraps and stuff, so I might as well. Rags, yeah, I don't think we have as many rags at home as I'd like either. Uh, why don't we get somebody some fruit up in our belly? And that'll bring our hunger and thirst all the way. And it gives our health an opportunity to go up as well. We can get the rags. And let's continue on then. Shall we? Because already I'm seeing something rather interesting over there. Definitely trying to keep my eyes peeled for bears. I would prefer not having to fight a bear if possible. God dang it. Uh, I, I kind of... Mm, I don't want to equip this gun either. I want to save our rifle for when we get into like bandit battle. So if a bear comes at us, we got shotgun rain ready to go here. And we got some pistol drizzle ready as well. But it appears, mm, dude, talk about beauty overlooking this place. But it appears we have another interesting thing kind of with like a radio tower. Is this like a radio station? I'm seeing a car over there. I'm seeing a couple of things. And I'm not hearing zombies, which is the big thing. Oh, I hear a bear. I hear a bear. God dang it. Why do bears love me? Oh. Okay, we're good. We are good. Hunnipy. Jesus. What is it with bears, dude? They got to learn to calm down a little bit. Dear mama. What are these? Pants? I can't even pick up pants, dude. I, I, I could go with some pants right now because I just I, I kind of peed the ones I currently had on. Given the, uh, well, just, just gravity of the situation. Um, what can we drop real quick? Ah, yeah. What can we drop here? Because I am trying to pick this thing up over here. Maybe some sugar. Okay, goodbye sugar. Hello canned fruit. I definitely want to get, god dang it. Now we got a beef can too. This is a lot of food. I hate leaving food behind. Honestly, Branches are pretty easy to find. I, I've been struggling a little bit to find rocks, so I'll keep those on us. But other than that, I, I do like the roster changes we made over to our inventory. It can't go into there. That's still looking pretty clear. I What is this, like a sewage tank? I don't know. It smells like poop, so maybe it is. <laughs> uh, we got a branch over here. Open the truck. I didn't know this was a truck. I think it's supposed to say trunk. Um, not seeing anything within there, and nothing we can siphon from there either. And what appears to be... Some sort of observatory? Kind of cool here. Not, not really anything, but I must say, it is rather the beautiful view I am witnessing. Are you guys seeing that over there? It's like a water tower in the distance. I'm seeing a tower over there. I definitely want to see what's on the other side of the lake. we got to explore that. But in the meantime, excuse me while I try to explore less bears. The good news is we learned that two shots is plenty to take those boys down. Oh my god. Is, is that a house over there we can move into? That looks like a pretty nice one. See, I'm, I'm just not sure what the house we can move into looks like. Because I'm down to move into a proper house where you can, like, board up the windows and stuff. I just gotta know specifically what it is, you know? Over here, we might have a generic house. Dude, can we move into this one on top of this, like, central hill? That'd actually be pretty dope. And it's not too far from our other place, so we could actually move things in a little bit. We got another observatory. Hopefully less bears. To be fair, I'm doing a great job at bringing the bear population down myself. <laughs> So that's a pretty nice part of all this. How's our health doing? Pretty good, all things considered, too. A little bit dinked up, but eh, not that bad. Is this... I see some boards on the house. Could this be a house that we could move into? Let's freaking go, boys. This is what we've been a-searching for. This is a shelter that we it can command the abandoned cabin manage the room by clicking the green space i see no green anything so i don't know what there is to manage but let's set this puppy as the base and bada boom 
Bada bing. And things are looking rather marvelous. It even comes with stuff inside. I already have an axe. What is this? A sleeping bag. Okie dokie. Some of these lockers will be able to move stuff into. Honestly, not as much storage as our other base, but we could still leave our other base back there as like a temporary type of shindig. And there's a second floor here, so hold up. But yeah, that's super nice that dude, like we can up, like we can freaking, oh my God. Yes, this is the type of house we were meant to have. And I suppose we have the house at the highest point in the game because we are in the middle of that massive hill in the middle of the map. And uh, we are capitalizing upon said things. What are these water barrels? Let's go. It even comes with water barrels installed. Like, we're getting a little bit of a head start with this, with infrastructure, and I'm a fan. We even got this kind of second floor up here that is empty as can be, but it's something. But yeah, this is beautiful because I think since we set this as our base, we will be able to respawn here if, big if, the game finally decides to fix that weird glitch and let us respawn. I really hope that it does. Also, you guys can see the edge of my arm in the lower left-hand side of the screen, and it's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, so what can we move into here? Let's just kind of move raw resources, potatoes, all this stuff that we don't necessarily need to continue our survival. We, we, we don't need a second MC. Oh, which one has the ammo? Oh, that's a, that's, that's a good question. In case the going gets rough, we want to make sure that this is not the one that we have. So let's open this up, put that one away, put the, this one, keep it in our inventory, bring that over. Uh, we could definitely start putting away. I'm trying to keep some valuables with us, but we could definitely put away a lot of foods and whatnot. Honestly, let's, let's eat a little bit of fruit here. We were getting low. I wish there was some way you could eat like half the can of fruit and leave some, but I guess it would spoil too since it is fruit. Uh, definitely putting the rock. I kind of want to leave the rocks with us, but inventory room's good. And this place, this is really nice, man. We actually moved into a place a little bit more proper. I'm a fan. I must say, and we could go ahead and put that extra beef can away, and we got some inventory room to play with. I got a motel I want to find, and ooh, it does appear that the mist, she's a-rolling. Uh, well, we have a sketchy path over here. If sketchy paths have taught me anything, it's that there are bears nearby, so I'm gonna be a little bit spooked, but... Uh, it is also the middle of mist time. Do we maybe try to sleep through the mist? Because uh, this is uh, not ideal to say the least. God dang it, I don't want to treat. Let's put uh, our axe away, or our axe in. Just in case something bad happens, I'm ready to swing on some of these zombies. This is really nice. I get it multiple things, and wow, I have no clue where we are. That's just a massive forest. Uh, well, I see a water tower over there. Yeah, it's very hard to get our bearings with the whole mist thing going on, so... Maybe given this opportunity, why don't we go back and actually try to prioritize our newfound base a little bit. Maybe find some uh, resources throughout here. Pick up some things from the last camp because as much as I'd love to continue exploring, I don't want to get lost because I can't see anything. And I feel like the motel, I think the motel's next to a road, so we'd have to find some kind of a road. There should be one, but the zombies we got to worry about. I say we take this opportunity. Let's just build things up here a little bit and check out this dope base we got. So we can actually repair this if it needs repair currently. That thing is max durability, so this thing can protect us from zombies. There's the noise change that marks the mist of time has truly arrived. And those are the only two windows we need We need to board up? Maybe? I'm, uh, does that have like... Maybe we can only board them up since they're like totally closed, whereas like these over there kind of have like have that thing in the middle. That's the only difference I could come up with with some of these. But yeah, it is miss time. Maybe we take this opportunity, put the sleeping bag down, and uh, try to maybe sleep for like an hour. At the very least, though, we can use it and continue establishing ourselves here. Uh, I think this is a pretty good sleeping corner. It's pretty nice. We got a nice little uh, way to peek over there. We can put the sleeping bag down. What do you think? Let's sleep for two hours or so. Hopefully we wake up, this stuff's gone, and we can head out on that journey, yeah? And we can get our fatigue back up too, and by the sounds of it, good about mist. Hello, mas adventura. So, uh, what was I saying? Let's go over this way. This will give us a nice little perspective over everything we're overlooking, and then we can continue looking for that motel. Yeah, this, okay, okay, yeah. I like what I'm seeing there. They, oh, is that what you guys are talking about? Is that the cabin we can move into? Please let me know in that comment section down below, because if so, 
<laughs> Slight detours may or may not need to be made. That thing looks super nice. I'm looking over there. Is that a bandit camp or is that the motel people are talking about? So there's the lake. So there's kind of like that farm territory. I think we kind of spawned over in that general area. So this appears to be new territory. We got the billboard there. We got another white cabin. Is that a bandit camp? Huh. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. I'm just trying to like scout this place out. Okay, well we got a pretty good starting point. Let's make sure that our game's saved in case something goes horribly wrong. And uh, let's continue forward, shall we? Let's try to make our way down here without breaking everything. Okay, and we are dead. I'm happy that I did that. Can I finally revive? Oh, we can revive. Well, uh, uh that's going to be a no for me, dog. Hand okie dokie, boys. We actually just learned a couple of very valuable things. Number one, apparently, the respawn function is finally working. So bless up to that. Number two, apparently, uh, well, that's that's a lethal fall. So we're going to try to find a bit of a uh, nicer way down and try not to die <laughs> this time. Uh, wow, oof, I think that's the only way that we can kind of encompass what I'm feeling right now. Dang, though, I was not, like, I thought maybe we might get hurt on that, but to kill us? That was for the sake of science. Now we know that even tiny falls like that, okay, I'm not going to say tiny, but even relatively smaller falls like that do have some lethality to them. So now we're going to, god dang, get stuck in some, god dang, get stuck in some trees and then in some medicine bottles, but then... We're gonna go ahead and start working our way down this nicer place. Haven't run across any bears. Shouts out to that. I like a bearless existence because bears are douche nozzles. They, uh, well, I don't know. They've tried killing me multiple times today alone. I've never, like, suffered multiple bear attacks. I'm surprised that didn't break something, given the way that this has been going so far. But, yeah, we're gonna see if that is indeed to do the motel. I'm kind of scared there might be bandits there, you know what I mean? So, be because we are ex exploring unexplored territory, I'm going to put that knife away. And uh, we're going to make sure that we got the big guns out. And hopefully the mist doesn't roll up on us anytime soon. I do see a chicken. Apparently what you guys have been saying I can do is I just chase this chicken. And eventually it gets tired. So, uh, chicken, listen here, buddy. I want you in my bill. I'm kind of catching up on him a little bit. Come on, chicken. I want to start a chicken coop, dang it. Don't tell me you're, like, leading me into, like, a bear or something, though. That'd be a very douche nozzle type of trap. Come on, Chikon. Come on, Chikon. It's so close. High octane action. I can't catch. I gotta empty my hands first. Okay, hold on. Gotta empty my hands. Get over here, chicken. Get over here, chicken. You will be mine. Oh, I can't put them in my inventory. Well, uh, I have a chicken. Maybe I can use it as a peace offering. Or maybe I could get it stuck somewhere. And then it'd be easier for us to grab next time. Because, yeah, I, I guess we gotta have a chicken coop ready. And also an empty inventory. Because, uh, well, I don't know. Can I use the chicken as a weapon? Buck, buck! No, but, ooh. I actually have something in my hands. Oh, goodbye. Bobby! Oh, my God. Bobby the chicken? Hello, Bobby. I think we've tamed him. So, apparently, just grabbing the chicken will tame him. All right. Well, uh, you, you do your thing over there, Bobby. You have some fun. Don't cluck away from me. I think, yeah, look at that. We're friends. He's clucking. Look at that. Bless up, dude. Apparently, all you got to do is touch it. I got the Midas touch of chickens, dude. Call me the chicken whisperer. Okay, this is some... Oh, no. Are you okay? That sounded like a bad buck. Oh, no, he's fine. I thought, like, he might have been getting killed or something. Suppose it... Oh, my God. Those are some very loud bucks. But supposedly, somewhere within this complex... Let's go. Another tire and a hunting arrow. Okay, okay, things are taking a nice turn, but one of these things somewhere, from what I've been told, should... Oh my god, we're finding a lot of good stuff at the motel anyways, but one of these things should contain a spark plug. Now, I don't know, like, if we gotta look in cars or maybe... Ooh, gear. That's actually pretty nice. I don't know if we need to, like, find a specific chest or if it's gonna be out on the ground somewhere. Whatever it is, I'm just aware that there's a very loud chicken in the background, but that this should be the way... That, uh, oh, and that's what they do. They do increase our walk speed, so that's nice. But this should be the way we acquire what we're looking for. I I hope, man. I, I don't want to keep looking. This spark plug is the last thing in between us and true motorized transport, okay? I want my transport to be motorized. God dang it. All right, I'm sick and tired of using these legs. I want upgrades, baby. I'll, I'll freaking become a transformer, become a car if I have to. I'm desperate. Uh, what is this? Just more empty bottles? Lots of empty bottles. I must say, 
But maybe we gotta work our way. Is this the motel even? Like, I mean, it looks kind of motel E. Like, here's the check in counter. There's an, I don't know if a motel is an ice machine usually. And can I not get into the upper floors of that? I guess not, because this doorway over here is barricaded. Maybe we gotta go further down the road. That might be what it is, too. This might not be. Ooh. 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 Plenty of good stuff. Some really nice water, too. Uh, so I'm gonna bring you by the chicken. Can I grab the chicken and the suitcase? Because if so, we're gonna be able to make some power moves next time. So, Bobby, look after that suitcase. Don't let nothing happen to that, Bobby boy. Um. Hmm. Never mind, boys. As soon as I took a quick peek at my map and kind of our our surroundings, I realized this is kind of by a fork in the road. I believe that over there is indeed the ah. Uh, I think that might be a bandit camp over there. We gotta watch out for. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing. Apparently, the motel that I'm looking for is way over that way. We're kind of starting to lose daylight, honestly. I say we finish looting up around here a little bit, seeing what we get, and then we try to bring the chicken and the suitcase back home and just capitalize on the fact that, listen, we've already made some power moves today. We didn't get the motel, but this does open a lot for us because I'm thinking that motel is very realistic and uh, ultimately a car is a very realistic thing for us to get next time. God dang it, another suitcase. And this one, which one's better? Okay, definitely the suitcase is better than that because we could move both of them. Uh, eh, I'm not really desperate for components or anything. All right, more components there. I, I might start picking some up. I'm just trying to see if there's anything like notable we could pick up first, you know? Like uh, a gas can. This could be nice for siphoning some fuel because there's actually a lot of cars in this area. So we could definitely try to come home with like a full old tank or something like that. Uh, can I... I should be able to climb on top of this, right? There we go. There we go. That's the parkour I'm talking about. What is this? That's some... God dang it. Some rifle ammo we can't pick up. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, shtick. Hello. Rifle ammo. Four entire bullets of it. Not too shabby. I thought... At the first second there, I thought I was freaking eating my rifle ammo. Nah, nah, nah. It's all, uh, it's all blueberries being eaten. But yeah. I don't know. The sun's setting. I'm surprised it's setting this early. I guess that's what's kind of like throwing me off a lot. Um, we should get this cola drank up. Yeah, there we go. Free up a little bit of inventory room that way. Did we get fatigue? I'm, I'm surprised we don't get energy from drinking the drink, dude. I feel like we should get a little bit or something like that. Uh, I hope we can find our way back up to our house, too. That's another thing that has me a little bit spooked. So I'm gonna leave this stuff over here. I already have my chicken and other stuff I'd like to grab. Um, I do see another house over there. I'm just gonna continue going through this stuff, but yeah, that is a- Oh my god! That's a lot of nails, but that's a little bit of a bummer on my side that we ah That's what that's what I was saying man I didn't have my bearings right, but now that I found this fork in the road I know exactly where we are at and oh you betcha I'm gonna want to capitalize on that puppy and I'm gonna want to capitalize on this gas But the siphoning gas is a time-consuming business. Ooh. I haven't seen any lashings yet. It's a time-consuming business though So I, I do think siphoning some gas and heading home I think that's the power move from here because it's already like 5 p.m. The fact it is like a sunset at 5 p.m. Man, this is throwing me off. I'm not used to this IRL right now. The days are still somewhat long, but I know summer's over, so they ain't going to be staying that way for long. This isn't one of the vehicles we could drive. I kind of want this. Does this one have like a bigger inventory than the other ones? Maybe. I'm not going to travel too far that way, though. I'll just kind of go on this way so we can see if we can't siphon some stuff up. We should still have some more cars over here. We should be able to capitalize upon. And then I'm grabbing a cheek on and hopefully that bag and getting out of here. But very interesting to note this little area. That That is... I, I knew, dude, something about it. I was like, I feel like a motel would be... I'd really be able to tell it's a motel. Also, I think I left my gas can in one of these cars. <laughs> yes, I know, boys. Your boy is a certified dingus. Well, that's the Papa Star way. If I didn't do something totally derped out, then, uh... Well, would it really be a Star Snipe video? I don't think so, dude. The derpitude, it just become a part of... It's become a fact of life at this point. Uh, let's continue that siphoning, though. I'm surprised it always takes the same amount of time, I think. I I would expect it to take, like, yeah, what it took us, like, five minutes that time? I guess this one took six minutes. It looks like the siphoning process is relatively time consistent, so I don't know what to make of that. I guess whenever we see, like, huge stockpiles like this to definitely capitalize. Yeah, six minutes to siphon every time, so 
it's a lot better for the ones that have a lot more in terms of like saving time and stuff. Uh, how many more cars? Dude, we have so many cars to potentially get out of this, by the way. Definitely some stuff worth capitalizing. Anything on top of the campers? Maybe we could get on top of this roof really quickly. There might be some stuff up here. Let's do one little check. God, okay. Apparently, I can't climb on that. Can't climb on that either. Are you sure I can't climb on this? This seems pretty... <laughs> it seems pretty invisible to me. Okay. That's not climbable. Um, and I'm not seeing another way to get up there, so I suppose I will take this L and hold it for now. Yes, I hear you, Bobby. No worries. We're leaving soon. I know you're getting worried. Those bears. I know. There's a plenty. I don't think they're after you, though. They're after human meat, not chicken meat. Bobby is too wonderful of a chicken to be eaten like that. I think the bears would have some decency. No worries, chicken. I'm coming. I'm coming. <gasps> Let's freaking go, boys! Look at what we found without going into the motel. Exactly what we were looking for. Hello, Mr. Sparkplug. It'll take three minutes. I don't mind. With that said, with that done, I hear footsteps. Is that Bobby? God dang it, Bobby. You're scaring me. You and your little clucking footsteps. Throwing me off. Uh, why don't we eat? We need a little bit of food, right? Let's eat this beef up. Get our belly up. Our stamina goes up. Our thirst goes down. That's okay. We got some hydration. We'll be able to... We'll, we'll survive. And then let's go ahead and grab this car battery as well. It's going to take a couple minutes. I don't care. We are walking out of today. Honestly, ridiculously good. I don't know why I didn't check this earlier, but bless up that I checked it. Because we now have all the components we need to be very, very happy. Oh! <gasps> Let's go. I got a chicken. I got a gun and I got a briefcase. It's like the holy trifecta the holy trinity. Oh, and there's another chicken there. Oh, chicken, you are lucky. I already have Bobby in my hand. Otherwise, this might be a different story. But uh, for now, I just got to find my way back up that hill back to home. And dude, I'm going to have a chicken move in with me. I'm going to have a roommate. It's going to be so nice. And not lonely from here on out. I love it. ba da ba 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 boys. I am loving it. I think that's where we got off. There's a little site slash camp over there. We might try and hit that up next time. But Miss Survival is treating us right right now. The last car that I check has the spark plug. Which means that next episode we should be able... Honestly, it'll be a multitask. We'll get the car assembled. We'll load the car up with everything from our old base. And... I hopefully we can bring the car up to this hill. That's the one thing that does kind of sketch me out. I'm not sure if it's going to be maneuverable enough. And I don't want to like hit too many things because apparently hitting stuff will damage the car. I'm definitely trying to keep my car as undamaged as can be because like some of our parts are already pretty dinked up. But dude, that is beautiful. There should be a car coming to a Papa Star video near you soon so miss survival's taking a great turn we got a house there like i was saying i was looking at that other house like if any house that i pointed to at any time stamp during the video is move inable and is bigger than the one i have right now which i think i may have been looking at before like i'm saying let me know and i am open to moving over there but in the meantime i got a place to call home base and uh, we're going to go ahead and try to improve that place. Yeah, dude, I think this chicken's the biggest upgrade, really. Like, if someone comes to try to raid us, like some of those bandits, listen, I'm going to train this chicken to be a cold-blooded murderer. And we already have, like, some infrastructure here with the water barrels we can start emptying into. Like, bless up, dude. Today has been a great day. Okay, I'm going to... I, I kind of want to put my pistol away. There we go. Oh, goodbye, chicken. There we go. Let's put that away. Let's uh, drop you. I just didn't want to accidentally shoot a bullet or something. Chicken! Oh, Bobby boy. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get you in here. I suppose this can be your little chicken coop for now. I hope this is okay. Uh, I don't really know what I can do with you. But, uh, yeah, peck, peck of the wood. Sure, I think this is like a termite chicken hybrid. If this man somehow escapes out of my house, too, I'm going to be kind of salty. <laughs> Not going to lie. But uh, ooh, why don't we go ahead and move this into there as well? And, uh, well... With that said and with that done, I believe that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for a very successful episode of Miss Survival. We got a freaking chicken, we got some spark plugs, and we have enough to make that car happen in the very next time. But night is coming upon us. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to survive and all will be Gucci, but that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.